And happening right now, a major water main break into Cab County, cutting off or slowing water service to homes, businesses, and schools in the area. Take a look here. This is chopper video from this morning above the scene. You can actually see that water covering a portion of the sidewalk. This is near the 800 block of McClendon Drive. 11 Live's Latasha Givens joining us live with more. So, Latasha, this caused not only a water outage, but a double-A power outage. Good afternoon, Faith. That's right. This water main break is impacting quite a few things in this neighborhood, as well as the reason why this street behind me is, is blocked off. We're on the 900 block of McClendon. Now, the water main break happened a few blocks up the street as you're taking a live look at. Now, some residents are either without water or have low water pressure, and some are without power, including several schools. Now, this is what we know from DeKalb County officials. Around 630 this morning, watershed management noticed a drop in water pressure and was able to locate the break. They sent crews to the 800 block of McClendon where it caused structure damage, leaving water spewing all over the road. The trickle down effect of this is a power line was impacted, so some residents and businesses lost power because of it. Now, there are five DeKalb County schools that had to relocate to other locations. Those locations are Avondale Elementary, DeKalb Elementary School of the Arts, DeKalb School of the Arts, McClendon Elementary, and Robert Shaw Elementary. This also includes all of the city of Decatur schools have been closed for the day. Parents and caregivers have been notified. Now, in addition to that, restrooms at Martyrs Blue Line were closed because of the low water pressure, but we're told about 45 minutes ago that service has been restored. Now, I spoke with county officials about 30 minutes ago, and I'm told the part of the pipe where the water main break happened has been isolated and the water has been shut off. Now, the cause of this leak has yet to be determined, but we're going to speak with county officials in about 30 minutes, and we'll bring you another update. Faith, back to you.